Okay, uh, let's talk about the definition of Laplace transform. Okay, before starting Laplace transform, we have talked about one more thing that we need, uh, which one needed for the definition, okay? Which is the exponential order, okay? Exponential order means it's not the upper bound, but uh, like as long as uh, your absolute value of your function value is less than or equal to the k times e to the a t form, then we're gonna say there is the like exponential order, okay? This is important definition for the existence, okay? We're gonna talk about this one later, okay? So now let me introduce the definition of Laplace transform, okay? As I told you, it is kind of changing the space, okay? I mean, like, you know, in this world, and like, you know, we're gonna use Laplace transform to move to the other world, okay? So, the, like, the definition of Laplace transform is here, okay? This is the reason why we talked about improper integral before, okay? So, like, your definition is integral, zero to infinite, e to the minus st, and given function f of t, dt, okay? So, let me give you a couple of examples, okay? Here we go. So, okay, the by the definition of Laplace transform is equal to integral zero to infinite e to the minus st times function, which is one for this problem, okay? Then um, this one is equal to, this is really easy, right? Just like, you know, uh, exponential function. So by the definition of like, you know, improper integral, is from zero to a e to the minus st dtn. We're gonna send your a to infinite. Okay, and it is equal to limit is there. And anti derivative of e to the minus st is uh, minus one over s e to the minus st. And we're gonna plug in zero and a. Okay, then plug in a first. Before then, like we can write one over minus one over s in front of your limit because like limit is working for a only. Then plug in a is e to the minus s a and plug in zero, which is e to the zero. And we know that is equal to one, right? Then, okay, think about it. Whenever your s is positive, then we can say this is negative power, right? Which means like when a equals to infinite, this will be e to the minus infinite, which is equal to zero, okay? That is the meaning, that is the meaning of this, okay? It is equal to minus one over s times zero minus one, which is one over s, but definitely your s must be positive. Otherwise, like it is inverse. I, I, I mean, it is in infinity, okay? But like we are not interested about that part, okay? 